Welcome back to Orc News. Hello. The Wait, hang on. News of Orcs. In today's Orc News, uh, a it's... big Orc was found. Yep. Uh, meat is back on the menu, boys. Hmm. That's another thing. But that happened. is unsubstantiated. Oh, hey, here's some more. Yes. Here's some more news. This episode of Ox Venture is brought to you by our sponsor, Blades in the Dark X One War Multiverse, That's or Blades really in the Dark X Arm. You're not seeing it. It's on. It's definitely on there. I've got it on mine. It's so gone off script. Just keep going. Okay. Well, I'll keep going. Yes, it's a very cool platform, which is a great way to try out Blades in the Dark if you're curious about the game and what a game it is. Uh, but don't want to give it a go because perhaps you're intimidated by the amount of rules and dice rolling and things like that. Well, this platform takes care of a lot of that for you and it looks beautiful while doing so. It's got a really fun character creator. It lets you just get on with all of the really, really fun bits of Blades in the Dark. Like Andy, what can you do in the game? You can go and heist a guy. You can heist find a guy. Find a, a, a ghost. guy. <laughs> you can find a ghost and <laughs> shoot electrical bits at him. Yeah. All the cool stuff you can do in Blades in the Dark. Anything your imagination can think of. That concludes this episode of Orc News. Yeah. So check it out in the link in description. That's one more time Blades in the Dark, X, One More Multiverse, and Meet is Back on the Menu, boys. Great news. And now the camera pans out and away while we. Lights come down and we talk. Yeah. Meet. Me? It's back on the menu. Back on it. Boys. Oh, okay. We'll turn him into a turtle, they said. Let's go to a library, they said, and other such things. It's weird to do the camera pulling out at the start of the episode, but bear with me. Just picture everyone in a wood kind of having a lengthy discussion about what to do with a clutch of eggs. And then, then imagine sort of the edges of that, that frame kind of pulling out and pulling out until suddenly there's a silver rim uh, that emerges. Uh, and you realize it's sort of a circular, sort of almost like bowl type thing that you can see. If, um, if any of you were, were, were watching, actually, you easily recognize this as the giant punch bowl from which Corazon eats cereal every morning while staying at <laughs> Necropolis on sea. I need a lot of cereal, right? <laughs> the camera continues to pull back um, and silhouetted. Um, you see, uh, well, you don't see, but it, it, it might be prudent to imagine um, the back of Liliana's head, kind of just watching you all having a chat. And uh, she raises a jeweled hand Many of these jewels look like they've been pilfered from some sort of pirate's room. But uh, anyway, she raises a hand imperiously and says, fetch the generals. <gasps> and then bang, wow, cold open. Woo! <laughs> 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 now back to our small fry nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> now pretend you don't know that happened. Yeah. Actually, okay. actually. Well, Prudence, we're off to the Gamblinos. Woo, Gamblinos! <laughs> the best gambling den in town. Yeah, gambling and drinking. We're off to the yeah. library. Yeah, we're yeah. off to yeah. the library. Yeah. We're going to have an equal amount of fun at the library and we're going to learn. Um, am I dressed as a, t a tur turtle? Turtle. Turtle. Yes, have you gone through with the cat. plan to turn Dob into a turtle? Are they, the the, does anyone have any other ideas? No, that's the only idea we've got. Okay. I look searchingly, desperately. I, mean, <laughs> well, I offered to, to, offer to look mine. after the eggs if you want. No, I will take him to a gas. Stash them in a bank vault. That was. Yeah, that, that was, was my suggested. other option. Well, have fun, uh, whatever you decide to do. Okay. Roll me a d20. Oh, right. Just roll me a d20. This is to ascertain the quality of your total disguise. Ha. Okay. <laughs> Eleven. Okay, so it's it not... a Donatello outfit from eBay. <laughs> it's um ah yes, the East Bay of Geth. Yeah. Um, it is uh... very shoddy goods. Man. <laughs> it's not. It's it's of a higher quality than the Spider Tiger. Uh, oh, it's well, about, that's a low bar to clear. It's about on a par with that time when you all made Egbert into a giant rotting seahorse. Big weird seahorse. Mm. Big weird seahorse. Yeah, that worked. Good times. So, yeah. 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 So you're okay. you're full of confidence. Whether it's well placed is another yeah. matter. Okay. So is the egg well placed though? The, so the eggs are kind of stowed in the, in the sort giant of a big shell. Yes. fiberglass. I guess it wooden, I suppose. It, yeah. mm. Wooden shell that's like it's I'm like, wearing it's like, like a, a coracle that we've repurposed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There all right. Go. Is that so all they, five eggs are in there? Yeah, they're all in there. Oh, okay. They are yeah. all, they are all like concealed from sight. They are hiding in in 
not plain sight, um, wild and slightly disconcerting sight. Mm -hmm. Remind the eggs are stashed on Dob's back. Remind me about uh, turtles. Can they like talk? (laughs) Yes. Yes. Right. Cool. (laughs) They're just like turtle guys. All right. Cool. Just yeah. Great. Just like I just wanted to make sure I knew the rules before I walked into the library and said, hello, I'd like to withdraw a bow. <laughs> oh, 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 a talking <laughs> turtle. <laughs> Let's dissect him. What's this? Eggs. <laughs> you don't dissect a talking turtle. You vivisect one. <laughs> <laughs> Think what we can learn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can describe exactly what it's feeling as you're doing it to the turtle. Um, Okie dokie. So we, we're, splitting into, we're splitting the party. Um, half of you going to a casino, half of you going to a library. Um, <laughs> let's start. Let's start with with team gambling. Um, Prudence and Corazon, you you walk into um, the the sort of the gambling quarter of um, of of Inquarter, right. which of course you you know well. Oh yeah. Um, and uh, there's one casino in particular that that uh, stands out to you uh, because um, unlike the other casinos, you hear this one. No. Uh, a ways down the street, you hear uh, a voice going, "R, R." Wow, a pirate-themed casino, Prudence. Oh, is that what that is? That'll be fun for both of us. All right. Indeed, <laughs> you look up, and there's sort of like a lot of these casinos have big signs that say such things as "casino" mm. or "gamble it here," but this one um, is called the Coal Rolls On. Casino, and on the top, it's got this big sort of cut-out wooden pirate, clearly styled on, on uh, on Corazon, and there's a, an arm that sort of waves, yeah. and it's a gold coin that keeps going like eh, eh into his mouth, as if the pirate is is biting it to check its authenticity. And they've hired somebody to stand on the other side of this sign, and every time it goes in, to go ah, ah. <laughs> Man, I hope I'm getting a cut of this. I say, Arr! looking at the uh, unlicensed use of my likeness. <laughs> you, maybe a wisdom perception check. Right. Uh, Fifteen. Okay. You can see um, that they have made alterations to the image of this pirate <laughs> to make it non-litigious. Damn. But for a fifteen, you've got a shrewd eye. Mm. They may think they've done a good enough job. But maritime law, yeah, which of course think. applies to pirates, whether uh-huh. on land or sea, <laughs> is a lot stricter about these things. And yeah. you think you've got the yeah. bang to write. Yes. New copyright law was what the pirates were hot on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's main, the main thing. We're in the, um, Brutus, we should remember, we're well known in the quarters. So. Oh, yeah. Heads up. Traveller's cloaks. If we want to. Before, you want yeah. to document this for future lawsuits? Yeah. I uh, re- remember it sketch. very hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, they've gone to a pirate casino, Marilyn, but I just want to assure you that our trip to the library is going to be just as exciting yes. and informative. Yes, it is. Okie dokie. Um, you walk up to the entrance of the casino where there is a, a, a greeter there um, who's kind of just dressed like a, like a pirate, but in a non- non-litigious fashion, mm. and goes, Ahoy there, me buckin' friends. Are ye coming to gambles your monies in the coal rolls on? I take a long draw on my clay-stemmed pipe and after several minutes of coughing, I say, (laughs) yes. Well, come on right this way. If I'm not mistaken, ye are new patrons to the casino. That's right. This wasn't here last time we were here, was it? I think I'd remember. Yeah. This oh, uh, seems right. like a nice place based on someone great, no doubt. Oh. So, you know, we get that a lot, but I couldn't <laughs> possibly say. <laughs> tap, tap. Right, with you. But here's two tokens. These will get you each a cocktail of your choice at the bar. Great. Ah, this is such a better idea than going to the library. Yeah, I'm having a great a time already. All right, we'll go up to the bar. What are uh-huh. you having? Uh, what what kind of themed Corazon like cocktails do they have at this Corazon themed? They casino? have the uh, um, 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 uh, the the pecant milk toaster. Oh, it's, it's like it's like a whole chatter, but they've used like cayenne pepper, cool. oh, and there's delicious. a bunch of like white rum in it. Damn. Oh yeah, that sounds really good. Okay. Two of those, please. All right. 
Good, because then I don't have to do a second one. Um, <laughs> Sex on the grease. <laughs> oh, Yay! come on. Now that sounds less delicious. Yes. Yeah, no, yeah, no one orders that one. Yeah, that's written over a back room. Pirate Gelato. <laughs> I'm, not going, I'm not going in. Pirate Gelato instead of Pina Colada. <laughs> that's a stretch. That is a stretch. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> you both get a, your pe- pecan milk toast hers. <laughs> and the, 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 the barman says, Cheers! What are we toasting to? Cheers! Oh, to Lady Fortune. Am I right? We're going to win big tonight. To Fortune and adventure. Cheers. And he- heroics. Great. Um, yeah. Okie dokie. Mm. He goes and serves somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> That's his tail ends forever. I'm never bringing that in. So long. All right, you survey the room. Uh, what kind of what kind of game are you looking for tonight? What's what your are, game, Corazon? What are we saying? Black, kind of action. Blackjack. 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 All right. To cool. so the blackjack table. Yep. Deal me in. Wait, that's not how blackjack works. <laughs> I'd like to bet all my gold. So it was <laughs> okay. uh, it's just a crowd of other people suddenly. <laughs> <from the table. laughs> I said, deal me in. Uh, yeah, you 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 get welcomed to the to the to the uh, table, and the, the croupier kind of like boop, 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 mm. deals you all a couple of cards. All right. Be a good time to have a deck of cards, but uh, uh, well, you know what? Both of you just roll me a d20. Okay. Don't get 21. <laughs> <laughs> 20. Okay, that's what you've got. 14. Okay, 14. Uh, let's say it's a pair of sevens. Are you gonna, are you gonna split? <gasps> I'm gonna stand on 20. I'm gonna twist. Okay. Hit me, dealer. Roll. I say. Ooh, says everyone. Roll a d10. We've hacked Solitaire yeah. <laughs> into D&D. D&D is Wizards are expecting my check. <laughs> oh, that's a two. So, uh, wait, did you did you split them or are you on, because you're now on 16 if you didn't split them. Yeah, I, st- I stuck, 16. I, I didn't All right. split them. So you're on 16? Hit me again, dealer, I say. Oh, no. risky. The, yeah, the crowd's like, ooh. I fix, I, I fix the dealer. Roll a D10 Star again. In the, in the eyes. Don't you do it, dealer. This is on you, <laughs> I say. And roll another two. Uh, 18. Do it. Do it. I'm <laughs> do it. Roll me to ten. What do you think I should do? Go, go for it. Yeah. Hit me again, dealer. And I roll a five. Oh, no. Oh. That's 23. All right, I start rising from my chair to blast the dealer. <laughs> <laughs> 23 and burst, says the dealer. Oh! Please, it's okay. do, please do not hurt the dealer. Oh, a tabaxi. Uh, no, he's some kind of bird. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like this would be some kind of bird person. Yeah. All right. Sometimes you just... You got lucky this just... time, bird person. I say, <laughs> finish my free cocktail. Uh, very good, madame. Uh, sir? I'm standing on 20, thanks. Okay. I'm standing on the floor. <laughs> he gets 14. And he gets a look in his eye like, I'll show you how it's done. Okay. And he rolls... A five, so that's 19. <laughs> Come on, Birdman. Then he rolls a four. Oh. Oh. Bust. House is bust. Oh. Uh, you win some money, obviously. You, you don't. Um, but there's a little crowd kind of kind of joining here. What's the kind of... I probably should have asked this earlier. What are you hoping what to get out doing? of the casino? Just well, a fun time. Some okay. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we did say that we would try and check out a... Um, Dragon door. A, a recruitment a tent. Recruitment tent for or the stand oh, that can wait. For the paladins of the dragon door. But I was lying yeah. when I said that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's fine. That's that's all the explanation I needed. Uh, we'll leave you there as some some admiring sort of people start to gather at, at, at this charismatic pair who anyway. seem to fit right in an ink quarter, <laughs> but are so mysterious and strange. <laughs> who could they possibly be? Another pair of cocktails arrive the next high to you. Is the... um, yes. It's mm. the same ones. Because uh, I haven't had a chance to think of another. Character. How about a Corosmopolitan? <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of those. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, at the Joyful library. Drown <laughs> yeah. oh. Whiskey based. Oh, the, the, gin, the gin full damnation. <laughs> gin full damnation. Full of gin. <laughs> it's just gin. <laughs> it's just a pint of gin. A pint of gin. <laughs> um. And anyway, course, so that sounds fun. So uh, I'm lugging this enormously heavy tortoise shell uh, <laughs> up the steps to the library. Prudence, we've been comp to sweet. <laughs> uh, you're also given uh, you're given another round of drinks, but uh, the barman says, uh, just to let you know, there's a, a two per person maximum on, on these ones. 
Um, these are like really big ones. They come in like a carafe. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. um, you you sort of looking at the menu and see which one it is. Uh, it is by far their booziest drink. It's called Unresolved Father Issues. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. I'm going to have a hard time swallowing this. <laughs> <laughs> and how. So, right, yes, you're looking for the library. Yes. Um, yeah. You found it. it Egbert's is... with us, don't forget. We can't be in the casino. Know, yes, no, no, I know that much. Um, Egbert, Egbert uh, you, you are uh, with the others. Um, yes. And indeed, you are perhaps the most perplexed of all as you stare up at the library, which um, has sort of like a big stone facade into which, like, neatly chiselled is the Egbert the Careless Memorial Library. <laughs> <laughs> You're not sure if they're hedging they, their bets or if they heard a rumour or... They thought it'll take a few years to complete this yeah. story work. <laughs> Certainly by the time. Yeah. 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 They probably just don't know words good, these uh, library guys. <laughs> <laughs> Liberons. Liberons, yeah. yeah. <laughs> guys you find in libraries. <laughs> <laughs> Are they spelt library wrong? It's L-I-B-E-R-R-Y. <laughs> You're greeted at the door by uh, a person in a giant, non-litigious, <laughs> foam dragon outfit. Oh. Is it wacky waving? Yeah. Rah! <laughs> I'm a, a li- librarian. <laughs> <laughs> I am your friendly neighborhood librarian. Edberg the Careful. <laughs> I am careful to make sure I feed my brain with knowledge. What are you here for, friends? Uh, we're here to just do a little bit of research, if that's right. If we could access your scrolls. Ha ha ha! Classic. I'm a turtle. I can see that. Yes. <laughs> you, you get the feeling this person cannot see well. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you would like to access the scroll library, just head down the main staircase into the basement. Okay. okay. Does my large shell fit through the door? <laughs> yeah, this is a grand mm. oh, real really. library. So when do we get our free cocktails? Excuse me? When do we get our free cocktails? What kind of Egbert the Careless Memorial Library is this? Oh, how how careless of me. One second. Um, and he puts a hand in his own mouth uh, <laughs> and pulls out three tokens. These are good for one hot drink and a muffin from the cafe <laughs> okay. when you take out a library card. <laughs> and he gives you each a token. Oh, thanks. I'm nice. going to stop doing this now because my shoulders are getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so who remembers why we're here? It was something about uh, blackjack. No, no, that was. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see a roulette table anyway. <laughs> um, we were looking for information on the, uh, on the part of the order of the dragon door. Oh, that's right. Okay, Egbert, you follow your nose, your nose for wisdom. Stiff, okay. Well, he has stiff. to follow his nose the whole time. Yeah, it's the first, the first thing, thing that comes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's always pointing his way. Um, I guess I'm gonna. Do they use the Dewey Decimal System in here? The Dewey Dragon Ball System. Yeah, the Dewey Dragon. Is it going to be easy to find, like, if I go to, to D. Dragon, D for Dragon? Oh, they've, they've, they've got a, a, a Dewey Decimal. It's just in the corner. You can ask him whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> I go and talk to Dewey. Okay, yeah. Every library in Geth employs a Dewey. Right. Uh, they are trained at the Dewey Decimal College of uh, finding scrolls real good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Hello, mister. Hello, we're looking for books about the uh, Paladin Order of the Dragon Door. Right. Hold on. I know just where they are. Will you please go over to the uh, the scroll viewing machine? Yes. Great. It's like a microfilm thing. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. It's basically like you'll be able to put basically. a scroll in there and then it's a series of lenses and like levers that you pull to just throw it up on the wall in front of you. Ooh, nice. Just like, yeah, just like microfiche. Lovely. Um, uh, yeah, Dewey runs off and then comes back with his scroll. He goes, here you go. Here's everything we've got on the dragon door. And he goes like, Bleh! and loads it into the, the thing. Perfect. We start spooling through, looking <coughs> for... Ahem. Ah, <laughs> yes. I hand him a drinks token. You're looking for 15 gold, I think. The... I should you rightly say I am, sir. <laughs> it was ever such gold. a terrible, heavy scroll. Uh, oh. Me being consumptive and all. <laughs> Treasurer, how much have I got left? Well, I don't. You, you're you, the guild you treasurer. Like, <laughs> what are our funds like? What's up? Well, I've got some coins because we'll I give them yeah. all to this man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't have fifteen. That's all oh right. God, what was your name again? It's Meryl. <laughs> don't get... Meryl. Meryl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Don't, don't worry. Save. Don't worry. I'll put the charge on your library card. 
Lovely. Thank you. <laughs> you now owe 15 gold to the Egbert the Careless Memorial Library. This is going to be what gets Make that 13 cool. gold hits the two in advance. There you go. Oh, hooray. <laughs> <laughs> he pockets the two gold. So what, right, okay, what sort of thing are you trying to find out about the Order of the Dragon Door? Because Which, this what? is a paladin order in Geth. Yeah. yeah. There is so much information mm. and a lot of it is, with your pardon, waff. Mm. <laughs> I guess we specifically hey. want to know why... Uh, what they would do with a dragon if they... Like, what? what yes. is their intentions towards a gold dragon should they find one? Is it to worship it or is it to murder it and use it for something? Yeah, so it's like the, the... the origins, because they're called the Dragon Door after the gold dragon. Why yeah. is that? Were they dragon slayers? Were they dragon worshippers? Yeah, and from that, a dragon to kill everyone. Yes, and from that we wish to extrapolate what they might, how they might react to the news of a gold dragon egg. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. So, um, what you get is, uh, to be honest, like a lot of it is just what you grew up you mm-hmm. know, being taught. But it's nice to get an external perspective every now and then. Yeah. Um, the Order of the Dragon Door. Um, Originally, they were sort of like custodians and, and, and keepers who worked with golden dragons to make sure that they were, um, uh, you know, like kept safe. They were basically conservationists while, they, while the, the golden dragons were dying out. And then, unfortunately, they were unsuccessful in their quest. So yes. golden dragons are, to all extents and purposes, extinct in Geth. Um, but the order has persisted in the hopes that uh, gold dragons might be restored to Geth in their prime and that they, um, you know, they might find a golden dragon and help and help rear it. Um, it states uh, that uh, basically there's then a, a, a paragraph that starts about about all of their aims uh, and about how you know like you know, their their main goal for, for hundreds of years have been to you know ensure that uh, these the, the populations return to normal. It is imperative to the order that golden dragons uh, maintain a presence in Geth because. And then there's just sort of a lot of scorch mark. Uh, Dewey, do you have anything about the Order of the Dragon Door that was written not by the Order itself? Has anyone else ever written or researched anything? Oh, this wasn't written by the Order. Ah. This was written by an historian. And what happened to this historian? Uh, You see him sort of check the the year of publication. Uh, The... um, did they write anything after this? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, this was uh, written 125 years ago, so what happened to them? Died, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't say how they died, like killed by paladins. Uh, not on the scroll, no. I imagine if he was dying, he didn't have the time to record it. Okay. Uh, do you know what happened to the rest of this scroll? Like why it's scorched? Yeah, you've got damaged scrolls here. Well, a lot of the scrolls here are damaged. How were they? Uh, how how did that happen? Well, it looks like this one was scorched. <laughs> Do we? To be fair, it's not the egg, but the careful. <laughs> it's not the egg, but the careful memorial. Like, exactly. It, so. We run a loose ship here. <laughs> <laughs> but so, if if you were asking me, Dewey, I could venture an opinion as to when this damage happened. Pay the for man. a low low fee. Pay the man now. Big time this time. That's what happens okay. when you scrimp. You see his eyes fly wide. Mm-hmm. Oh. Meryl, when will you pay this man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Meryl. I didn't know you. I didn't know you. I'm sorry. I'll, 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 uh, here, uh, a full refund. <coughs> he costs up one gold piece. <laughs> I don't know, no, I'd never keep... dream of charging you. Uh, you keep that. Uh, um, and you keep that. Don't, mm-hmm. don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. We, this is the greatest day of my <laughs> life. <laughs> the Guild of Adventurers has come to to the Egg but the Careless <laughs> Memorial no, no, Library it's, it's, and they've asked for it, me, it's, Dewey, it's, Dewey, 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 help. Dewey, it's really just uh, Meryl Wen and her best friend, um, Torty. Tor- Tor- Torty the Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> what do we caper about? What do we go yeah. in my shell? Are you doing a bit? <laughs> are you doing? Are, is he doing a bit? No, is no, it no. Dob doing a bit? No, 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 it really is. I'm, I'm here on a separate mission. It's, it's just me. So it's here. not Dob. This no, is a no, new no, one. This is, he, he's not. He's not is in it? the guild. He's 
I'm, I'm helping him on a quest. Okay, because I was going to say I don't like him. He's a bad addition to the guild. Okay, okay, that's good to know. Yeah. Sorry, Dottie. I mean... That's fine, I'm used yeah. to it. Big <laughs> shoes to fill, old dub. <laughs> uh, I'm not. That Aubrey bit of Axie, you know, that was a... <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a fine addition. <laughs> I, I, okay, I think I think we're rumbled. Um, I think maybe we should try and keep Dewey. I've still got my fake moustache on, so I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> oh, I can <laughs> <more> side disguise. <laughs> and I didn't even notice you. <laughs> Imagine Edward is standing under a big oil painting of Edward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, he's not true. You know, it's funny you should be asking for information because it looks like you're wearing the same tabard as the dragon door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a big fan? Big fan of their work, yeah. Great. <laughs> I'm just looking to learn a little more for my co cosplay Dewey, we're, outfit. We're, we're traveling in town uh, incognito, and it would mean a lot to us if, if you could uh, keep this under your hat. And we would be so happy to repay uh, your discretion with, I think, Stretched to some autographed merchandise. Oh, 100%, 100%. Keep, uh, yes? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and if you would like me uh, uh, to record a medieval voicemail message. <laughs> would I? If you would like Talking me. Talking to a parrot. If you would, yeah, if you would like me to uh, talk to a blank parrot, uh, one of my good catchphrases, and then when you're not around, you can put the parrot there and the parrot can sort of answer for you and take messages, but first we'll say something that I said. That's absolutely fine as well. Okay, I shall get right on it. Okay, uh, right. Well, if we've got Dewey's discretion. Yeah. You, you were about to, before we interrupted, yeah. in your professional opinion as a li library, library, yeah. librarian, as a, as a librarian, yeah. um, do, do you believe that the scorching on this scroll was deliberate or accidental? Oh, it was deliberate as the day is long, sir. Ah, these are very long days. <laughs> <laughs> you can see here from the way it's, it's basically just gone along the page removing sentences. Yeah. And then I'm, occasionally leaving a word back in like, You've got the, there, yeah. and you've got a, just a full stop there. It's pretty suspicious. Um, can I read back again? Can, can I have a reminder of where the, the scorching stopped? It was just that it was basically before it stated why keeping golden dragons alive was so important to the order. Okay. I think we've... Well, no, we haven't really got what we need, have we? What should we do now? Let's find out in a bit. Mm. Hi, we're gambling. Rambling! Um, yeah, I'm now stood on top of the blackjack table, being like, I can't lose! Hit me! Okay. Right, I mean, yep. It's a five. Oh, I mean, yeah, you've been dealt a three and a two. So yeah, um, roll a d10. Just gonna keep doing this. Okay. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's a two. It's a seven. Keep it's a four. Eleven. Eleven. You literally can't lose. You're rolling a D10 on a D10 on eleven. Yeah, that's a three. So it's a five card trick. Oh, or, is, or is a five card trick? You get twenty one with five cards. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Everyone's yeah. just everyone's crazy impressed. Hooray! Yay! Best adventure ever. The the bird the birdman dealer like loses loses it a little bit. It's like oh, and just sort of like, <laughs> starts right. throwing money. At Drinks you. are everyone. I say. <laughs> Me. Prudence, message job, so he knows what a good time we're having. Right, a message job across town, Whee! in the direction of the library. I sort of like, <laughs> I sort of like um, pipe in the sound of the casino around me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting Can that. Can you hear this? <laughs> hey, Prudence, yes. Hey. Have you discovered anything about the dragon door? I've discovered that we can't lose a blackjack. We can't lose a blackjack. Lose the sluts in town. Who's this? Corazon Casino. I'm yep. Corazon de Baena. He's Corazon. Whoa! <laughs> You, and the crowd breathe. goes wild. Breathe. On your end, yeah. you can hear me just kind of like off mic, just kind of saying to Egbert and Merwin, no, as we expected, they, they've, they've done nothing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the, the casino. Um, yeah Prudence, thanks. Um, well, we, we're at the library here. We've um, at, we've made a friend. Uh, his uh, Dewey mm. um, is, is, is his name. Mm. Uh, so the, the big thing that we found, is this a secure line, by the way? Yeah. Your messages secure to my end brain. To end Woo, encrypted. Secure yep. line. <laughs> I okay. I shush everyone around the black jet table. <laughs> Go on. Can anyone? Can anyone around you hear what I'm about to say? No, it's all, it's to my brain. 
All right. I'm listening to so don't, his brain. So don't respond using any words or phrases <laughs> that would give away what I've just said. But we've uh, so we've discovered that basically the Dragon Door Order has been uh, redacting records concerning why they're so concerned with gold dragons. I acknowledge. <laughs> Yes, good. So we're um, we, we're trying to figure out our next move. You have any ideas for us? Well, I mean, we were about to go on our way to the Dragon Door recruitment. The, the, the problem is recruit- that we can't lose. Well, shall we do that? And you can keep casino. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, fine. Let's go to the tent. We'll meet you at the recruitment station. Okay. All right. Incognito. All right. Yeah. No ah. blowing anyone's cover. Yeah, we have somewhat blown our cover. Well, a so bit. did Corazon just there. I mean, so did my accomplice. I <laughs> said I feel like Corazon de Bayena. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I'll, Make I'll cover me a charisma performance check. All right, see how well that goes over. <laughs> it's another 20. <laughs> Cheat dice. Mm, uh, you hear a, oh, from the crowd. Yeah. Sorry, oh, folks. If I've only, got to leave. if only he were. If only I were. But as you can see, I've got a hood on, and Corazon doesn't have a hood on. <laughs> so bye, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe there's some sage muttering. Okay, we collect our winnings. No. How much are your winnings? How much are our winnings? You okay? Sorry. No, it's fine. Right. Really what did you Tell say? The class Tell the class what you said. There was some sage muttering, and I said, "Oh, did someone cast speak with plants?" That's pretty good. That is pretty. That good. is actually better than usual. <laughs> <laughs> so, I can begrudgingly have inspiration. <laughs> A resentful inspiration. Where's my list of words I'm afraid to use? <laughs> add sage. <laughs> to add sage. All the synonyms, all the yeah, just, dual just, meaning just, words. Just half the words in the English language. Let's <laughs> let's go and just roll this and see if you get a twenty. Okay. That's a two. No, it's not lucky for me. Next to twenty, though. Next to twenty. It was very close to it. In the in the area. Let's go find out about these devilish paladins. All right, I'd like to walk. Is there a um, a paladin recruitment center? I bet they hate gambling. Yeah, this dead. So they're probably here to convert the convert the heathens who are gambling and drinking. Oh, in the casino. Really? No, no, that's what I was no, asking. Oh, no, 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 in, 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 in the vicinity. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh absolutely. Yeah, there's there's all sorts of um all sorts of tables for different paladin orders. Hmm. There's the the order of gambling a little bit less. There's <laughs> the order of no gambling at all, actually. Like there's <laughs> there's as not to cheapen the whole paladin business, but like there's as many orders out on the street as, as you yeah. care to mention. But you do um you do spot one uh order in particular. Well there's a banner fluttering yes. um, in sort of the night air. Is it the night air? No, it's probably the next day, isn't it? We were gambling, we gambling through, through the, the night. night. <laughs> in the early, we night. Through the night. early <laughs> morning that's, air. That's when they set up, when people stumble out of the casino. Yeah, of course. Of the yeah. pale light of morning. What and you hear, um, you hear like a high voice being like, um, would anybody like to hear about the order of the, the dragon to apostrophe? <laughs> All right. Do that's you, us we stride over. Good sir, have oh. you any pamphlets? Hello! Uh, yes, I do! Would you like a pamphlet? Give me all the other pamphlets. Man, so. I, oh. my life has really... I've hit rock bottom. Oh, goodness! I'm very susceptible to persuasion. Okay! And being guilted into doing stuff. Right! So I was thinking of becoming a paladin. That sounds great! It's a really good life of um, feeling obligated and quite bad, but hopeful that you can become a better version of yourself. That sounds great. Well, sorry, what was your name? Uh, my name is Tin Whistle. Tin Whistle, pleasure uh, to meet you. Could you, yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you. Um, is it all right if I get, I would say most of those pamphlets back? You can have three of them. Well, I only just started my shift and I'm covering for someone actually. And um, Do you no, think you'll give out more than three, honestly? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I was hoping to. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, so. it's my first time running the stall by myself and I really hope to do a good job. Well, you're doing a bang up job, Tin Whistle. Thank you. Let me tell you. I mean, really, I was told it'd be quite a while before I could run the, the store myself. Um, Adeline normally normally runs it when she's off shift, but she she left last night. Um, she she barged into the stables at, at our headquarters down the street in Ingwater and insisted on sending a messenger bird immediately. And then she demanded our swiftest horse, and then she just rode off and missed my 
Um, saying something about the salvation of the order? Quiet, uh, Tim Whistle. I assume it's important. I put my hand in his face. <laughs> oh. It's a lot of info, Tim Whistle. Ad- Adeline. Adeline was the, uh, was the bartender. The tipsy pig. At the tipsy pig where we were yeah. last night. She must have seen She must the... have seen the bloody eggs. <laughs> She's with the paladin order. How could she have seen the eggs? <laughs> <laughs> right. I take my hand out of Tim Whistle's face. Oh, do you know her? Yeah, she works at the tipsy pig. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we do. We we drink there occasionally. Oh. Another sin we need to atone for. Um. So okay. We're, I mean, there are lots of orders. We're courting offers. Okay. From, from many different. Well, we ones. don't really go in for drinking's bad or okay, gambling's good. bad. How uh, do you feel about? Uh, I mean, it's the order of Dragon Door. Yeah. Right? What's the What's the Golden Dragon stuff about? Oh, we love them. Well, we love them. Of course, there aren't any more now. Okay, but maybe they could come back. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. So, well, I mean, what would the order? <laughs> I'm trying. To, I'm trying to get an idea of my daily life as a paladin yeah. or the Dragon Door. So, yeah. the Golden Dragons say for example, back. Golden Dragons did come back. What would oh. I be doing then as a paladin? Oh goodness, looking after them, I suspect. Right, and with just with the aim of keeping them happy and fed. Yeah. And yeah. No I mean, sort of. Yeah. Not using well, them to. I'll be honest with raise you. The kingdom. Uh, the, in all of the pamphlets I've read, I've not been an initiate for very long. But it says that in the event the Golden Dragons are rediscovered, we're all to go to Mistmire, and there we shall have a conference and set to work. To to do what's right by the good with by the gold concerning the gold dragon. <laughs> so, I, oh man, sounds sounds like a real wonderful order you've got. Conferences, there. conferences, not drinking. Pamphlets, all my pamphlets. Oh, all so, my so, so we can't drink. drink. Oh, we can drink. We can yeah. Drink. Oh, great. Even better. <laughs> Anything I like better than not drinking is drinking. So, uh, all right. Well, um, uh, Jennifer, given us a lot to think about. We've got a lot to think about. Okay. So let's go and mull over our options, shall we? We're just we're just so excited about the future. Great. Yeah. So we'll see you soon. Let's go and read these pamphlets. Okay. They're all the same. Pam- yeah, pamphlet. We'll read, yeah, but could you? I like them. Yeah. Okay. She, <laughs> she's taking a shine. Maybe we should get some something to eat as well. <laughs> <laughs> he hides under the table. Okay. All right. Let's regroup. All right. Where yeah. are those? Oh, lazy the, the other nerd, Oxford the library, well, we, we, I think we've so because you told Dob for us to go and meet you. Yeah, there, we're probably so sidling we're just, up to like, the uh, shuffling yeah. up. And see yeah. you know. Oh, look! Hello. Hey, hey! hey. The library's Man, so How was your night? Ours was wild. Hey, who am I? Pamphlet, 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 pamphlet. Hey! One of those pamphlet. dragon doors. <laughs> Man, so good. Oh, we better get time. Make a pamphlet angel on the wall. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, how was the library? Uh, well, it was a long, gruelling night of searching through many, many scrolls mm. and enduring the constant badgering from um, from uh, Dewey. <laughs> but <laughs> um, uh, and I wish I could say we turned up more. Unfortunately, it was mere scraps of information. I assume you haven't had any more luck. Oh, we, no, met we, a, <laughs> we met a lovely young paladin. Okay. Gave us a lot of Name pamphlets. a tin whistle he was. All oh, right. He's over there. Is that him yeah. right here? Yeah, you can see him. <laughs> He's still under the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's okay. clutching his three but, pamphlets. Uh, we didn't know how to proceed. Remember Adeline from the, yeah. the Tipsy mm. Pig? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She brought me so many ribs. She was a she was a bloody uh, dragon door paladin, she wasn't she? Paladin. Or she was an what? A, an she seen in, the some eggs. kind of informant. She yeah. seen the eggs and she headed off to Miss Smile. She sent a message. A message to Miss Smile. Yeah, and then she took a horse and headed off to Miss Smile. Okay, so, well that's that's terrifically bad news. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, what was the great info you got from the library? Well, we found a document. Um, oh, the, the other thing, the other thing Tin Whistle told us that the dra- uh, Dragon Door likes to look after golden dragons. So if you found any information that is any other information than that, we, it will really help us out. Well, we did find that we we we. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We didn't find any information about that per se, <laughs> yeah. but we we did find that someone, probably the the order itself, mm. has uh, has made eff- deliberate efforts to ob- obs- obfuscate. 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 We were drinking in the library. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah they weren't just muffins. <laughs> <laughs> to hide, right? Uh, the the real reason uh, that the that the order wants gold dragons. So they've back. got something to hide. Yes, they've got something to so hide. Wasted the whole night. We didn't waste the whole night. We had a we had a reward for nice hot chocolate. And a <laughs> yeah, I looked up something else of of extreme importance and of breath a breathtaking revelation. Mm-hmm. What, what was it? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to <laughs> <laughs> treat, treat my treat my library trips with a little more respect? And maybe I'll tell you what it is. 
Uh, and I p- pull out some uh, paper. Also, we need your autographs for Dewey. Oh yeah, yeah. So we, we you all have to sign this hat. Sign this, yeah. <laughs> you all have to sign my shell. <laughs> Love presents. Yeah. Eldritch Sigil, Edel yeah. Eldritch Sigil, Skull, Skull and Crossbones. Eldritch Sigil. All right. Uh, I frisbee that in the direction of the library. <laughs> <laughs> there is, uh, a, there is uh, the soft shattering of a pane of glass, and then you hear a voice go, Wow! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so the order of mm-hmm. the Dragon Door yeah. now know about the eggs. They're coming for I'm not eggs. Point, I'm not laying blame at anyone's door. Okay, but... Hey! <laughs> I'm just saying that is now the situation. Okay. So they're aware of the eggs. Yes. They know where we are roughly right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so then the, we have to assume that the message has already got there and that the net has started to close oh, on us. Should we... So should we try and get these eggs to the mountain before they can get there? Or do you want to go to Mistmire and try and stop them in the tracks? I think if they already know, then they're going to catch up with us, aren't they? So. It do- yeah, I mean, my, my gut says go go to the mountain because then we can at least follow through on our original plan of yeah. trying, if it's at all possible, to could return be a dead these end. eggs. The dragon could be dead. Yeah, and even if the, the dragon is still alive, the, you know, the word is out, the dragon door will stop at nothing to, to mm. seize the oh, eggs, regardless of where yeah. they are. We've got a we've got a, a dragon door sort of representative here, right? Tin whistle, yeah. Tin whistle. We have had a hostage. <laughs> I hear what you're <laughs> saying. <laughs> <laughs> we have had dealings with this order before, right? Yeah. Mm. What if we march up there, yeah. say, uh, I have I have an important message from Captain Shattershield, right? Yeah. And then we can. There's the, and there's the next step to the plan. <laughs> Captain Shatterfield being a senior paladin of the Dragon Door. Yes, yes. as well you remember. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we walk up to Tin Whistle, yes. say, I uh, have an important message right. from uh, Captain Shattershield. He wants to, and then... <laughs> and also, then, what's... You can keep doing that. Yeah. It's not going to help. <laughs> what's the one place they wouldn't think to look for dragon eggs? In their own citadel. <laughs> Maybe the message from Captain Shatterfield could say we've all, we've all decided to leave the set. <laughs> no, okay, okay, okay. Let's. Um, you want to verify whether the dragon parent of these dragon eggs is or is not truly dead, right? Yeah. So the we, no, we want to. <laughs> we want to. <laughs> all right. I just think walking into Mistmire. Sounds like going the wrong way. Yeah, we should be That's avoiding where the, the paladins. We should are. be avoiding the paladins, especially so we're with what we for, learned. We're heading for the frozen peak. Yeah, because yeah. so. at least if they're coming to get the eggs, we'll be in a defensible position with a dragon <laughs> on top yeah. of the mountain. The frozen peak's a long way away, right, from where we are mm. now. We've got to take. It's a on ship. another continent. It's, it's across, across the, the ocean. ocean. Yeah, pretty far. Well, you know what? If nothing else, it gets us out of town. Yeah. Because we have to. We have to we like have to skip it. town right yeah. now because this place is going to be crawling with paladins. Yeah. 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 Okay. Is it this one you realise you're being watched, P.S.? Oh. By Tin Whistle. Not by, well, Tin Whistle's kind of just looking around. <laughs> yeah. Tin Whistle's not taking in anything to report. Who's, Who's, what? Him. Who's watching? Wisdom insight check, please, from Team uh, Team Casino. <laughs> um, you see just sort of sat on a, on a bench um, with her back against a wall. Um, the wall behind her, in fact, sort of with her legs crossed, fold, her arms <laughs> folded, just kind of watching you evenly, um, is a woman in sort of like a very deep blue doublet, um, which sort of like the, the finery of the cut speaks to its quality. Um, and, uh, but you know, like she's just come from the casino. She was, you know, dressed to impress, but she's got um, like reddish brown skin and dark brown hair that comes down in like these corkscrew curls. She looks exceedingly well put together and exceedingly shrewd and is staring at all of you. How do we do? 18. 13. 18. Great. Uh, I realized that in describing her, I already revealed that she was in the casino. That's what you were going to discover right. is you sp- you remember her from the casino. Um, hey, you notice that, that she was, was, she was playing at a different table, but at some point had stopped gambling and wasn't swept up in the awe of the crowd, but had just been watching you, kind of. I just assumed she was impressed by how well we were gambling. Well, so. she's just there staring at you now. And Sorry, can I help you? I might be able to help you. Oh, that would be great. 
<laughs> we need a plan. I immediately accept. <laughs> yeah. How she, can you help us? What would you do if you were in the following situation? <laughs> <laughs> Hypothetical <laughs> situation. She walks over, um, sort of just says, Hi, I'm Anaya. Um, Don't kill her, Meryl Wynn. I, I, I could see you thinking about it. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm, you're fine. Don't worry. Carry on. Great, good to know. Um, well, listen, I noticed you earlier in the casino, and you know, it seems like you keep interesting company. And uh, not to put too fine a point on it, you, you look like people who were trying to raise a lot of money in, in a hurry. And um, from the way you, you're talking, I assume you're doing something very important and quite secretive. Am I, am I hitting all the right notes here? Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, the thing is, trying to raise that much money and then trying to get away in, in a hurry is a very good way of getting yourself noticed. Uh, but luckily, I've noticed you before anyone else. Um, because if you're trying to get somewhere or get something somewhere or uh, separate something from something else, um, it may be that I can help you. I um, run a, well, you could just call it a discreet transportation business. This is, this is perfect. This is what we need. Mm. Uh, that sounds interesting. We are looking to get somewhere. We are looking to transport things. Okay, well, um, let's not talk specifics just yeah. just yet, but just to give you sort of a, a a feel for sort of the things uh, we can offer. My crew and I, well, distractions are, are something of our specialty. So if you need uh, people to be looking one way while well, you head another way, that's that's a possibility. Or um, discrete storage solutions, uh, depending on what it is you're, you're transporting, big or small, um, we can we can we can get it somewhere safely and discreetly. We are extremely wealthy travellers. And for reasons that I don't feel any of us uh, need to explain, this turtle costume that I'm wearing has immense sentimental value to all of us. It was our father's turtle costume. It was our father's turtle costume. I see. Yeah, all of you the same. You know what? I don't all of us the same. Ad- adopt, adopted. Adopted. Oh, yes. Different manners. Yes, we were all adopted. The one thing we have in common is that we were all adopted by a big turtle. <laughs> And um, he suckled us with his teeth. Suckled us, and we used to run around in his folds, folds, <laughs> and hop around on his back. And we miss the old man. We really do. Um, uh, and all we have to remind us of him is a costume is made a, in his likeness. Is a costume that we all made together. It's like a sort of family quilt, mm. but not very good. <laughs> so, I think. Maybe this is the thing that we want to store, protect, transport somewhere, secure and discreet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, do you remember how dear old dad used to love that frozen peak near Necropolis on sea? Oh. His favorite holiday destination. Okay, I'm just gonna stop you all there. This is very cute, but uh, you, you need my help. Okay. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that obvious? <laughs> I'm very good at what I do. Okay. And I am sure you have positive qualities. Thanks. Oh. I'm Judgy. just I'm, I'm just saying that you know, um, look, keep keep this turtle costume safe or your life won't be worth living. Whoa. Don't be placing what? threats on us. We need insurance. We just... Wait, don't we we're going to travel with it. Yeah. Yeah. Are we? Yeah. We're not just going to give it to her. I said that by accident. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) We need to get this to the frozen peak near Necropolis on Sea. Of course, we will escort it. We will also be going with it. I thought we were. I thought we were giving the turtle costume to them to take to a discreet location so that we could move without it. But I see now that's not. Because a lot, a range of different services was offered there. We want to take the eggs up there so we can reunite them with. uh, Sorry. Yeah. The turtle costume, <laughs> turtle costume up to the spot where Dad died. Yeah, Dad, whose name was Eggs. Yeah, so <laughs> oh, 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 Eggs, the eggs. Oh, man, eggs the turtle. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're talking about smuggling ourselves. 
Yeah, yeah and this costume. Yeah, At this point, it. I'm just going to ask you to step into my parlor, okay? Cool, sounds good. <laughs> sure. <laughs> she go. pushes, she crosses the square again to, you know, where she was sat with the bench and she pushes open the door. Take us um, seriously, please. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> okay. Uh, if, if we all wanted to be smuggled to the frozen peak, could along you, with the turtle costume. Along with the turtle costume. Is that something that you could do? She she's going to sort of like she's going to shut the door. It's, it's one of those doors just with like a thumb latch. She's, she's not like <laughs> like shutting sure. you in. Mm. It's quite a nice parlor, um, and it seems like quite a secure parlor where she has discussions. She goes, okay, look, um, whew, uh, you need you need discretion. That's why I'm talking. You know, you want to get these this. Cargo, we'll call it for now, moved. Um, very sensitive thing to say about that last memory. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for the exit. More to the point, um, you need discretion, I need candor from you. Um, okay. It's not the costume you're smuggling into. No, it's what's inside the costume. And we're not going to tell you what that is because we don't think it's important. Okay, that's we need right. to travel with the costume mm -hmm. to the frozen peak mm -hmm. and we need no one to know that, we, that that has happened. In fact, if there's, if you could also maybe spread some rumours around town that the Ox Venturers uh, have been, you know, seen locally and plan to be staying for some time, mm -hmm. or maybe even recently left, go, went that away, <laughs> then, you know, maybe that could also be helpful to okay, us. Okay, I mean, that rumour does the rounds in town all the time. Great. You never heard of the boy who cried dog? <laughs> <laughs> yes. But look, okay, right. Exactly. You, if you need a distraction, that's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but look, if, if I can read between the lines, um, she whips back a curtain and wheels out what looks to you like a, basically a giant egg box. She goes, now, look, you don't have to admit to me that you're smuggling owlbear eggs, but uh, I just wanted to show you an example of the sort of service we provide, hmm. um, where she like lifts up the lid. She goes, look, uh, ordinary griffin eggs. And there's basically just like, it, it's a huge egg box. And in there are just huge like eggs that look to all intents and purposes, like griffin eggs. She goes, it's very simple. These are false tops. You just put your eggs in there. Um, if there aren't, uh, if you don't have enough to make up a clutch, and we'll put in real griffin eggs, so that if anyone comes and inspects, you can say, look officer, you know, oh, we don't like to do this, but knock, knock, here's blood, you've ruined a griffin egg. How do you feel about that now, officer? It works a treat every time. This is good. I can't um, believe you gave away they were griffin eggs. Well, Griffin eggs, keep that owl, secret. Owl owl eggs. eggs. Sorry, owl eggs. Yeah, Griffin eggs, perfectly legal in death, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, they, they're delicious. Because lion eggs are a of quality. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that joke's going to fly really well outside of the UK, isn't it? Anyway, yeah. I don't uh, get it. I'm outside of the 1970s. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for goodness sake, you know, a courgette frittata. Um, <laughs> this is, this is, this is owl bear eggs, solution. very, very elite. If you're yeah. smuggling owl bear eggs, that's fine. I've done this so many times before. Well, All right, great. good. I'm glad that you understand. Yes. Because, you know, I can't go back to prison. No, it doesn't look like you'd survive on the inside. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Do these look like the hands of a man who would survive in prison? No. 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 No, exactly. Right. How soon can we leave? Well, um, if you just, you know, you ready up the cargo, tell me how many how many real griffin eggs you need. Um, well, there's six, there's six holes, I assume. So oh, one real griffin egg. The one real... Ooh, yeah, to fill up an egg box. High roll is all right. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, oh yeah. Oh, in fact, I think I've got one there. So yeah, uh, we can have that made up. Um, as for a distraction, there's something else. Another request we have. Go on. We don't want you to see these eggs at any point. We want to. We want to place the eggs. In. Sweetheart, I don't Go want on, to then. see these eggs. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't we'll want to see this at all. We yes, want to put the eggs in the box. She needs deniability, so she won't look at them as we're loading them up. We put the eggs in the box, we seal it, we open it up at the other end. Your box, your circus, that's fine. Here's the box. I'm going to leave the room now, and I'm going to come back with the griffin egg. And then I'll sort out, you want a big distraction so you can slip out of town? <laughs> Quiet. That would be perfect. All yeah. right. Good. Oh. And we can discuss rates. How does 15 gold sound? <laughs> she doesn't even dignify that with an answer. Yeah. I'm going to get you that egg. Um, she disappears off into the back. You're right. left in a parlor with 
A uh, very convenient egg box. <laughs> let's yeah, get the egg box. Put the eggs yeah, in. let's get it loaded I put, up. I put Simon in. Put in Bloodwing. I put Iron Junior. I put in Corazon Junior when no one's looking. I gave it Aww. Aww. <laughs> Once Bane Jr. trying to keep that out. We've got the false egg tops. Yeah. Yes. Top, so they look like perfectly ordinary griffin, griffin eggs, eggs yeah, that everyone has. With a griffin egg. There you go. Had this one for a while, but it should still be all right for Great. intents and purposes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, one distraction coming up. <laughs> you, you, I'll tell you what, you see uh, you see Anaya kind of go into the back after, um, after giving you this griffin egg. She comes back out. Um, her hair is sort of like now tied into twin sort of like bunches. Um, she is wearing like a really bright tunic that has like a stitched Egbert on it. Um, and she kind of goes as if to get into character, strides through the door and then you hear, Oh my God, Egbert the Kellers is shopping in the fashion district with his butt out. <laughs> And then you you hear like a, an audible stampede, <laughs> just shrieking, just people tearing across the town. Um, that's worked. So that's right. good. Cheese right. it. Yeah, let's let's cheese it. Cheese it. No, great. We, Commence cheese. We need Anaya to show us oh, where yeah. to go and where the ship is and or where the transport the is. That's right. And we haven't paid her. And we haven't paid her. Yes, that's right. Also, are we carrying the egg box? We are. It's right? like or... a cart. She's got a transportation. Can I ask for a description of the egg box? Uh, yeah, it's yeah. it is like it, 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 it from the outside is just like a really big wooden chest, mm-hmm. and it has sort of like in lovely like uh, flowing like sign writing. It's just like Griffin X, fragile, do not open, on danger of being mauled. Makes sense. Right. Checks out. Fine. All right. Um, I tell you what, she leaves, and then two uh, sort of discreet hench persons turn up and go uh, right this way, please. Do you want us to get that? Yes, oh, please. Thank you. Thank you. And they just start. Like, in fact, no, they insert the poles here and here, and it's kind of like it's, a, it's a, like a little bit of the Ark of the Covenant, and it's a little bit. Oh yeah, I've got some eggs. Okay, <laughs> yeah, um, and they yeah they lead you down onto um, a ship that uh, you barely even noticed uh, as you were sort of first coming to the docks. Uh, sort of between two big mer- merchant ships, it's kind of just like a low to the water kind of like skiff almost, mm-hmm. with like a one cool sail that's kind of rigged that way, so it like billows out and it looks yes. like, like it looks fast and it looks um, discreet. Yeah, and it's a praising look. No. Yeah. it's a good one. Is it? Yeah. This one? Yeah, you can tell by the shape of the bits. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so glad we've got an expert. <laughs> the men loads load it um, on board um, and then they they just sit down next to the next to the crate oh all right let's get let's get going oh, yeah. Um, yeah and they call up to the deck and you hear sort of lots of people be like and there's sort of sea bearing noises <laughs> Um, should we have a little montage? We'll just sort of montage that bit. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, um, does definitely. anyone have any particular business while at sea? Are there any discussions you want to have? Does anyone plan on being seasick? Um, yes. Great. <laughs> All right. Um, Obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, you throw up a uh, cafe muffin. Great. <laughs> Probably some of the stuff you ate at A.A. Tompkins. I guess the, the there's main... This, there's this white whale I've been hunting. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more. Uh, just, you know, I keep an eye out. If we go past it, I'd like to harpoon it. Okay. Not, no worries if we don't. Okay. Just a drive-by. Yeah, just a just drive-by. drive-by harpoon. Harpoon. Whenever I'm sailing, I just keep an eye out for it. It's my nemesis. Okay. Okay. Where we um, uh, are going, obviously, is really close to Necropolis on Sea, where our um, mm. hated and feared enemy, yeah. lovely Liliana, well, I thought we were going to come in from the other side of the frozen peak, so if we sail in north, north yeah. of the that's what I'm, that's what mountain I mean. range. You'll be yeah. coming in by Dunbridge, then. Okay. Yeah, of course. About that. Right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we will be coming in by Dunbridge. So it's possible to, yeah, it's possible to kind of make landfall without being Alerting. visible from Necropolis. As far as we know, yeah. Liliana, who is not watching us at this very moment, we could, yes, yeah. Yeah. arrive yeah. without her. All right. Like she could even scry us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like, yeah, I'd like to see her scry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, she'd need like one of our organs or something, and you know, how would she even get that? Mm. Yeah. All right. uh, okay. Well, I'd like yeah. to take a walk around on deck just to uh, just one morning Promenade. to um, to kind of uh, take the measure of the smugglers that we've fallen into the company of. All right. Yeah. I mean, obviously they're not trustworthy. They're smugglers. Mm-hmm. But how untrustworthy? Untrustworthy in a kind of reliable. Mm. 
we're going to pay the money way? Or are they going to slit our throats while we while we sleep and throw us over the side? Kind Make of way? me a wisdom insight okay. check. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> that's ninety. Wait, no, that's dirty twenty. Okay, uh, these seem like professionals. Mm. Like mm. they are going to keep to the terms of their employment perfectly, like to the letter. Uh, which also, of course, means by inference you should not cross them. Mm. Um, you expect that their services are going to be expensive. The fact that they are doing this work without discussing terms or asking for payment mm. speaks to their confidence in A, getting the job done, and B, it, it being worth it, which mm. of course means it's going to cost you loads. Mm. Yeah. But, you know, we're montaging our way to Necropolis on the sea. Mm. Dunbridge. Not, not Dunbridge. Woo. Woo. On their little travel map, there's yeah. a little line. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's that's sort of the measure you get of, okay. of the people you are rolling with. You do for for now, for the, probably the first time since since uh, uh, Bismuth sort of pulled the first egg out of her her gaping maw, mm. uh, you feel relatively safe. <sighs> Great. I'm glad we're putting some distance between us and those. Paladins, paladins. Yeah, I hate paladins. Mm. I, hate, I hate every paladin. Oh, what? I say. Um, Go, do you want to practice some sea shanties? Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to. What's, what's the good th thing to, think, to sing about? Uh, a good sing. thing to sing about is the whale you've been after. Okay, give me, give me some music. Oh, how I hate that whale. I, every time that I start to sail, I see his stupid face. I'd like to spray it with mace. And kill the whale. Thank you. Uh, roll me a d100. If you roll 100, I'm going to say that your song has summoned the whale. Oh, no. yes. Yes. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got inspiration, use it. <laughs> no, it's uh, two zeros and a five. Now the second go. That's actually kind of close. Um, yeah, if you want to use inspiration to have another whack at this, it is a one in one hundred shot. But all right, fine. You'll get to you'll it's get to your kill whale. Them. Yeah, it's your inspiration. Oh, that's a zero. A zero and, and a sixty. Uh, a sixty. Oh, between the two of them, you had it. But that's not how inspiration works. <laughs> okay, well, no white whale today. There is just sort of like a porpoise kind of jumps up. Would you like a to pale smack blue it? porpoise? I harpoon it. Okay, great. Um, Marilyn, do you want this? <laughs> <laughs> You used to be a hunter, like you could use every part of it. That's what you believe. What are you gonna do to it? What? How am I gonna give it, use... give it to you? Apparently, yeah. <laughs> you would like it. Do you say that you could use every part of it? Is it just injured or is it just? No, gone? no, it's dead. Oh, and Corazon threw a harpoon at it. Yeah, Corazon doesn't know, miss. Okay. No, do you want it or not? <sighs> Thanks. Oh, gratitude. Honestly, <laughs> I do some hunting things to it and. Wait, 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 wait. Mara would hold my hand. Now, I cast Speak With Dead at the same time that you cast Speak With Animals. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know what this poor porpoise did. Did you have a vendetta right. against the porpoise? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a vendetta against the porpoise. All sea life. So I, I um, give a dignified end and then cut it up and give it to the... Hit it over the head with a Well, the smugglers <laughs> will find use for it on the ship and things like that, so... Mm. You're welcome. Fresh porpoise okay. meat. Yeah, there are now several barrels of salted porpoise. Yeah. And you've used the skin to make uh, trousers. Like, it's nice that it trousers. has a porpoise. Yes, waterproof trousers. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you One go. of the smugglers is now wearing a fresh set of waterproof trousers. Okay. Giving it a new porpoise. Does anyone else want to hold my hand and connect spells? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll do grease. What, what do you do? I'll do grease. Well, I do. Grease. What do you want? Yeah. Grease do you want to combine grease with, grease. Grease with thunder wave, heal wound, sleep, hideous laughter, heat metal, crown of madness? Oh yeah, let's cast grease and hideous laughter. Yeah, at the same time on who? Eggman. Egg <laughs> I was just gonna say that. <laughs> Three, two, one. Spell grease. combine. Hideous what laughter. Happens? You're gonna have to make me a deck saving throw at disadvantage because you're laughing so. Hard. <laughs> okay. Uh, to stay on the ship. Whoa, okay. it's gonna slide out into the ocean. <laughs> it's a long, boring sea voyage. That's a 10 plus two. Do I have to roll again 
It's a disadvantage. And take the worst result. Okay. I am 19 plus 2, so, so 10, 10 plus, plus 2, two is, is 12. Uh, your spell save DC is higher than 12, I think. Yeah, yeah that's right. 17. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, Egbert, I yep. say, as jets of grease fly all over the place. <laughs> what, what should you do when surrounded by a gang of clowns? I don't know. Go for the juggler. <laughs> Egbert's incapacitated with laughter. Yeah. And, and staggers and off the ship. Yeah. Greasily falls ah. into the ocean. Greasily falls into the ocean. <laughs> Man, I... <laughs> I rolled a D100, but I did not summon the whale either. Oh. So you're not oh. eaten by a whale. Oh, oh, that's that's good. Good. I turn into a... Giant octopus, <laughs> hi, and then I go down and I grab Thank you. and I hold him above water. I find this laughs. hilarious, obviously. Yeah. Really having a great time. The ocean madness has really kicked in early <laughs> this trip. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm just, I'm stunned by the sudden realization that this is the sort of thing you people hold in when we're on the clock. During <laughs> <laughs> the live show, it's like, should I cast hideous grease? No, <laughs> we've got a show to finish. All right. Greaseful laughter. Now, what Greaseful if I do, laughter, there what it if is. I, what if I do calm emotions while holding <laughs> hands with Prudence and she does that hunger of Hadar one? What that, what <laughs> this means then? that you'd be very calm about being eaten by a horrible, slimy, tentacle, milky monster thing. Yeah. Right? yeah let's do that. Unless, well, I, let's keep that in unless the I, I cast Hunger of Hadar and create a void between the stars and then you cast emotion, Calm Emotions on it. Yeah. Happy Hadar. Yes. Happy and Hadar. in the Happy middle Hadar. is yeah. Grease. The Greasy Hadar. <laughs> oh, Greasy Hadar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tapping. tapping. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We're just going to montage the rest of this. You, you see, yeah. like, a still laughing Egbert is fished out of the drink by a giant top of sure. um, As the journey goes on, we, you know, we all just sort of get the hang of this thing. It's definitely allowed where we can hold hands and do <laughs> spells. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, you come up with some pretty potent combinations. Um, <laughs> And we take uh, it in terms to sleep on the egg box. Yeah, yeah, just keep, oh, yeah, yeah just keep it warm. Yeah, keep our yeah, eye good, on it. Yeah. Keep it, yeah. Yeah. keep it warm. Sure, why not? Uh, at a point where like no one else is around, I'd like to uh, just kind of lift the lid and press my ear to one of the eggs and just see if I can hear anything in them. Can you? Is that? Yeah. Okay. Stop. Uh, make me a wisdom perception check, please. Uh, Ten plus nine. thirteen. No, all you can really hear is just the. Oh yeah, <laughs> coming, the gold, coming from uh, coming from Simon. Yeah. Okay. But uh, soon your your senses uh, turn to the intoxicating, some might say nauseating smell, um, on the wind of uh, of Dunbridge, um, of course, home to the uh, pork long in a bread canoe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I overused bread canoe last time, but you you get the drift. Uh, you you know, sort of just like c cylindrical pork bits um, yeah. and caramelizing onions um, and toasting buns on the wind. Uh, it could be nothing other than Dunbridge, um, mm. where you last visited when you sure deposed. Organ length in a wheat sheaf. Mm. Organ length in a wheat sheaf. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe that's its only export. <laughs> yeah. Organ length in a wheat sheaf! <laughs> you, you hear being yelled on the docks as you pull into Dunbridge. Ah, oh, um, Dunbridge. Yeah, okay, great. Uh, so let's All this get... laughing has made me hungry. All right, well, you have an organ length in a wheat sheaf, mm -hmm. and I'll. Let's I'm going to have a, a pork finger in a gluten hug. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to squeeze a whole lime into my mouth because I've got scurvy. And then <laughs> let's, uh, yeah. Shake it off, Corazon. These old women's <laughs> right. Uh, so we're in uh, Dunbridge. I'm not sure we've established this kind of geography, but like, I want to just look around at the skyline. Can I see the mountain range sort of distantly or is it even so far the... away? We'll start with Necropolis on Sea, because you're used to that. Necropolis on Sea, then you've got the open sea across to like Barrow Springs. And you'll remember that the the coast kind of cuts in from Necropolis on Sea and then kind of goes out again. And Dunbridge is kind of on the other side of that, as is sort of the frozen peak. Okay. So we okay. So you're yes, you are closer to the frozen peak than Necropolis on Sea. Alright. Which is good. Is, is this as far as the smugglers go or or I mean we did contract contract them to get us up, you know, get the get this cargo up the actual mountain. So. Oh, they won't do stairs, so. There aren't stairs on a mountain. Yeah, but you know, it's the equivalent of stairs, isn't it? It's nature's stairs. Mm. <laughs> nature's <laughs> stairs, the mountain. Yeah. Was it, okay. was it agreed with the smugglers that they would help us with this up the mountain or not? You haven't actually talked about the specific terms of when it ends. They, they're looking at you uh, very stilly. Right, lads, up the old mountain then. <laughs> oh, well, that is opening up a fresh negotiation, I'm afraid. Ah, uh -huh. pay them. Marilyn. Would you like us to take the cargo up to the top of the mountain? Was it you said? 
Yes. That will be extra. I I think we can get this up there. At least I can get this up. Oh, there. Okay. Cool. I also feel yeah. like we can't subcontract all the adventures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we might pass right. There's this a woman is... in the house. I'd like. To <laughs> You'd be surprised. They <laughs> the mercenaries say. <laughs> Okay, mercenaries. Let's well, disembark with the egg box. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, all right. All right, well, um, as we say in the trade, we didn't see nothing. Okay. Did. Thanks. Nice. Do you have a card? Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> how, if we need you again, how could we How could we find you? Ah, they how say, we sailing off. <laughs> <laughs> do you think they're going to come collect what's due at some point? Yeah, we didn't pay them. No, we yeah, didn't well, pay them. Yeah, that's why. Don't. Bargain. Well, let's not. Spend all our money at one stop, and well, then you're the treasurer. When they, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know where you keep getting all these coins from. From you, the treasurer. No, you know, I'm not not giving them to you. Well, no, but you're also not hiding them well enough. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, suffice it to say, Anaya is going to come knocking someday and will want to favour. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. All right, Meryl, when you carry the box, and then the rest yeah. of us will all walk up the mountain. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, let's get a rolly thing to put it on. Get get a cart, get a cart, and then I will turn into a bear yeah. and oh, yeah. drag it up. Uh, of course. Can we put a harness on yours of some yeah. sort? Is that okay? Yeah. Is that allowed? Well, okay. Yeah. Crossing a line I consent. It's all fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. What can well, you send? <laughs> <laughs> hot dogs. Probably. Hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's a hot dog? <laughs> Wait, Meryl, when do you fly into a bear rage for hot dogs? And... <laughs> yeah, are you turning into, are you like on the docks turning into a bear? Not just yet, because we've got to get okay. the, the cart and stuff. I'm just, I'm getting it. Okay, ready. all right, understood, understood, understood. <laughs> okay, okay. I'd like to walk up to a, a dockside warehouse and see if I can find a, a, a size of a decent size looking cart that I reckon could be hitched to a bear. Uh, they must have some for, you know, moving stuff around. From sure, the, yeah, the, the, you, um, uh, you you walk up to the nearest warehouse. Yeah. Right, mate. Uh, pretty good, good looking car. You got what model, sir? Thanks. It's one of my. Oh, it's you. Oh no, this guy. <laughs> what do you want? I depose him and become the foreman of the warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Who have you got there, Dob? Uh, I've got. Well, the the would be boy king of this. Uh, oh, Linton! Linton! Oh, Linton, you little rascal! You. Yeah. What do you want? Do you want my business as well? Yeah. Well, you can't have it. <laughs> but if you want my business, you can. You can. We can do business. We just need a cart. Can oh, we, okay. Can we rent one? Yeah. Can we have one? No. Uh, mates' rates? No. <laughs> All right. You, well, I'm giving you not mates rates. <laughs> it's double. All right, well, how much is that? Two about, gold pieces. Well, how about mace rates? And if you give us a lower rate, we won't hit you with a mace. That is extortion. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This negotiation has gone in a different direction. I don't believe you'll do it. Marilyn, mace the man. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, uh, Look, we've got, I've got some money. I've got black tag. I'll give Linton the two, two gold. Two gold to Linton. Let's Thank not you. murder anyone else, man. That wasn't so hard, was it? No. Now, it's just, quite I'm hard. not so bad once you get to know me, am I? Your yeah. voices. <laughs> if I'm honest. Right, let's Linton, we... I'd put a hand on the shoulder. <laughs> You ever been up a mountain, Lint? No, it's not no, coming with us. No, we're not, dog. We're not It's not Lint. good for my, um... My bum. General constitution. <laughs> <laughs> my what? It's not good for my bum. <laughs> oh, my bum. <laughs> Lint, and I can't promise that this adventure will be good for your bum or any of our bums. <laughs> okay. But what I can promise you is that sometimes when you go up a mountain, you find yourself up there. Well, <laughs> frozen. <today>. Linton, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the mountains we encounter in life, they don't look like mountains. They don't look like mountains. This one does look like <laughs> a mountain. <laughs> Do you want to go up it? No. I don't think Linton wants to come up the mountain. To. Thank you for the cart, Linton. I hope we never see you again. I hope we we'll never see you again. Although we will Except be returning. Except when we return the cart. The cart yes. Disappointed in you, Linton. <laughs> right, let's go. You used to be king. <laughs> <laughs> so did I. We've all been king, Linton. That. Right. Okay, so egg box in cart. Egg yeah. in cart. Yeah. <laughs> egg in cart. Meryl Wen in bear form. Yes. Right. Let's get, okay. Let's get. Now let's begin. Uh, well, Meryl are you strong enough to like also pull us in the cart? Can we sit in the cart on the box? Or... Possibly. Yeah. yeah. I'm, fa I'm fairly strong in my bear form, I think. All right, let's go. 
Right. Okay, let's begin the long and arduous trek up. Trek to the to the frozen peak. The frozen peak. <laughs> See if we can't find a alive, mortally wounded, or, mortally wounded or well, see if we can't find the, hmm. these eggs. Is a dragon parent. A dragon parent. My uh, my strength as a bear is only one extra as me wow. as an elf. Wow. <laughs> We're saying all of these things set perfectly stationary. <laughs> yeah, well, bear, well, bear, 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say Barrowwood probably can't give all of you. All right, everyone, pop right, off. off. We, we walk. And uh, we're going to do this uh, the same way we did the Frozen Peak rules the very first time. Everyone's going to need to make me a constitution saving throw with a DC of five. Ooh, right. It's oh, going to keep getting harder. Gear. Make it as hard as you like, Johnny, because that's a four. <laughs> <laughs> Plus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, you're fine. Eight for me as well, I think. Thirteen. That's a two plus a two. So Ooh. that's a four. <laughs> <laughs> I got um, 12. I t- yeah, I'm still wearing my seafaring outfit, which has no sleeves. Obviously. That's a bad idea. You take four points of frost damage. Dang. And you are just generally kind of very rhymed, frosted. Imagine Frozen, your sword is put on like... some sleeves. No, my, my guns are popping. Do you not feel cold? Yeah, I know, but Do you feel weirdly this, warm? Check out this calf definition. Uh, <laughs> I check out the calf definition. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Pretty good. You know what? Time passes so swiftly when you're talking about calf definition and whether or not you are <laughs> properly dressed look at it. for the weather. Um, let's just say after a while, like maybe you, you just sort of sit the pirate atop the bear and sort of like just the, the warmth from the fur warms your lovely, well-defined calves perfectly. I smell like bear now. Um, <laughs> and eventually there's a slightly awkward period where you sort of pass by the ruins of a hut mm-hmm. and um, the bear goes quite quiet and sort of I was quite sure what to say about anything um, hey look it's that hut where that guy lived he's dead now he's dead uh, now he's dead we, we, well we didn't kill him yeah. but he's very dead bad, you can see just two right. frozen sort of feet and shins Ooh. kind of sticking up from the oh, I'd like to just put a supportive hand on Barrowwind's flank. Sure. <laughs> yeah, but that's where my calf is, so you feel the, <laughs> the steely, yeah. smooth, silky, rugged oh, yeah. goose Barrowwind's been working out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and very slowly, you, uh, you you make your way to uh, the top of the mountain, where I would like everyone to make me a second uh, constitution saving throw. Oh. Difficulty 10 this time. Now 20. Blah. 20 may be. Oh boy. Dirty twenty-one. Lovely. Eleven. Thirteen. Great. Uh, you're all fine. Uh, you could, you my friend, could do with a hot flat rock to sit on because mm. you're oh. going to take some frost damage. It's a one. Oh, that's alright. So it's not that bad. I mean, you are st- yeah still smoking from the nostrils, I guess. Yeah, of course. Actually, yeah. I have an internal boiler. Yeah, let's just say like the very tip of your tail is is gone all like frost come off. <laughs> um, you reach you reach the top of uh, the mountain, and it, I'll tell you what it, it sure as as heck looks like an apocalyptic battle took place here. There are sort of smashed up boulders, and um, oh. as Bidmuth Bid, Bid, Bid kind of said, there's um, there's like a whole load of claret dumped around this mountain. Um, you can also see kind of like the beginnings of a little cave. Hmm. Lord. And it, yes, a voice seems to come to you on the wind, Corazon, saying, Steal me, steal me. <laughs> <laughs> can I um, uh, dip my fingers in the blood and just sort of taste it to see if I can ID it as it's pure? It's extremely unsatisfying. Dragon blood. Uh, Do you know what dragon blood tastes like? No, but I know what all the other kinds of blood taste like. <laughs> so I don't recognize it. Okay. Hmm? I know Touché? what dragonborn blood tastes like. Yes. Well, how? I know what dragonborn blood tastes like. <laughs> Maybe an intelligence investigation check. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Add one to this. Nineteen. Okay. You dab around a bit to be sure, and you're like, nip, 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 nip. and what a wild flavour combination! Because there is a mix of dragonborn blood and dragon blood here. You can't. Um, okay. Yeah, it does. What you don't taste is any uh, drow blood. Okay. So there's um, no Liliana. A lot of Liliana did not bleed here. A lot of Egbert <laughs> clones. You, do, yeah. yeah. you know for Egbert? sure that Liliana was up here. Are there any dead birds around here? Too? Any bodies? Any oh, bodies. for like frozen corpses of the clones. Yeah. Yes, there are. Oh, the place no. is, is somewhat littered Ooh. with dead birds. Oh, a poignant scene. Dead birds. <laughs> dead birds. <laughs> 
what a tragic and touching scene. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the Horde cave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in you go. Across Make... the fr- fl- frozen blood snow into yeah. the cavern. Make me a wisdom perception check, please, Corazon. Corazon's going in by himself, right? Yeah, well, Panera yeah. in the mine, right? Yeah. I don't see why I would need to. Okay. Good luck, Corazon. Dirty 20. Oh, wait, <laughs> perception. Yes, 50 20. Oh, you're not alone in that. You're not sure what it is. You're like, huh. All you're aware of is that you're in a big space and you know when you can just feel that there is something yeah. here living. Possibly something big. <laughs> um, something that is definitely watching you with a keen intelligence. Okay. In a dragon's lair yeah. sort of thing. Sure. That's just what you can sense. Okay. I shout into the game. Have you found the horde yet, Corazon? Shout louder, Egbert. I don't think you. I said, (laughs) Have you found the horde yet, Corazon? (laughs) Done, done, done. (laughs) And there is a (laughs) noise in the cave. Hang on, Egbert. Let's both shout at the same time. Yeah. One, two, three. Have you found found the the horde horde yet, Corazon? Done, 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 done. Meryl won't help us out here. Do, add, add some bear all to this. <laughs> <laughs> you start to hear the unmistakable sound of heavy footfalls. Um, would he it must be... have loads of treasure if he's walking that heavily. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yep. Do you remain where you are? Do you press on? Do you back up? Uh, I start to back up. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, you s- sort of start to back up, and with your um, with your perfectly perfectly good human eyes. Um, you you do start to get the sense of something absolutely enormous moving towards you, just this really big mass. Um, and as you sort of step out, there's a brief like, <laughs> there's a pause as one final sort of like clumping noise happens and it comes to a halt just at the edge of where the light kind of like stops on the way into the cave. And then stepping out from the darkness is not one great big dragon, but um, just sort of a rank of roughly Egbert-sized dragonborns, mm. uh, and at their head in uh, sort of like some really just dread black armor um, stands a dragonborn who looks very much like Egbert, but probably like one and a half times the size. And where Egbert is golden, this dragon is completely sort of black scaled like practically metallic, uh, and he glares at you with sort of like pinprick red eyes and just goes, greetings. And I said, we'll probably call it there. For this, this <laughs> oh, what? Whoa. Dreadbert. <laughs> Dreadbert. <laughs>